Hello everyone, welcome back to 2023 Fall Semester JCS Chapel. Today we do have a special guest speaker, class of 2020, one of our alumni students, Hannah Kwok. Here we go, yeah! <laughs> you must be excited. <laughs> okay, thank you for your time, Hannah. Okay, um, so there are so many new faces among our school students which means uh, probably they have no idea who you are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so would you introduce who you are? Uh, hi, um, my name is Hannah. Nobody calls me Hannah anymore, but people here go by Hannah. So just call me Hannah. Um, my name is Hannah Kwok. Um, I graduated in 2020, which is like three years ago, something like that. I am currently studying um, as a specific university as a nursing and honors humanities double major um, and I'm going to my senior year right now. Mm, thank you. What was a major, the double major? Uh, honors humanities. Oh, what is it? Can you explain a little more about it's, that? It's uh, great question. It's basically a system that waives all your G's but you need to so there, you don't take any tests mm. or things like that, but you are reading a lot of books and discuss about it and write papers and mm. do speeches. And yeah, um, I mean, it's really good system. I really enjoy it. It's not for everyone for sure and no fault on you mm. on that. But mm. if you love reading, if you basically like Mr. John's mm. class, you will love it. <laughs> I really like Mr. John's class. So okay. it worked for me really well but good. yeah you don't need to take any GE so good for you okay so now you are um, studying uh, nursing and dual major mm -hmm. at uh, Azusa Pacific University which is APU mm -hmm. one of Christian uh, universities in America how did you select this school great question uh. um because we have a lot of uh, high school kids and you know looking for applying or working on their application pretty soon yeah. uh, I think I chose APU with um, several reasons mm. um, one it might sound lame it sounds kind of kind of silly but one it gave me the most scholarships mm. um, colleges are apparently pretty expensive and mm. there's no way for me to afford all those tuitions by myself mm. um, so um, scholarship was really important factor for me um, mm. and AP has a really good nursing program mm. so I really like that point um, and it's also a Christian school which was also important for me um, and ever since I came to AP like being a, it being a Christian school was mm. a really a big benefit because it gave me such a great community that I can lean to and learn and grow. Mm. Um, yeah, so I, yeah, those are the reasons why I chose APU and okay. I've been really enjoying it. Mm. Yeah. If you don't mind, would you a little bit explain, give us more, uh, let's say, information about uh, nursing program, you know, of, at APU? Oh, yeah. Uh, what was the, let's say, qualification for, let's say, senior students, high school, mm. and uh, also the, some prerequisite courses, you know, if they hmm. prepare or apply to this class? and maybe how design uh, the courses like of nursing or what do you mean by designing courses? like let's say um the cu curriculum or was the concentration or the subjects like as a like as a college student like right. college uh, what student. do you learn in right, college right. okay um so in high school, you basically need to pass all your science classes and mm. I think math too. I'm not sure, but um, and for international student, you need to have a TOEFL score greater than. Okay, don't quote me on this part. Greater than eighty is my get. Sorry, my guess, but um, mm. it can be hundred. Mm. I'm not sure. TOEFL score. Um, yeah. yeah. Right. Um, for SAT. I'm not sure whether they have the same standard, but when I was planning to go there, it was 1350. Oh, um, minimum. Yeah, minimum. Yeah, minimum yeah. And that's the that's the lowest that for them to consider your applications. Mm. Um, uh, so those are the basic standards. Um, you can learn more at mm. APU.edu. Like go to Scope Nursing, and they have all the prereqs. Mm. Um, for nursing, so. 
APU nursing is unique hmm. and good in some ways because you don't go into pre-nursing. Hmm. Um, you pre-nursing means the first, the uh, what's called the freshman and uh, the junior year, uh, sophomore year. They prepare taking. Kind of. Uh, it depends on schools. Um, hmm. Some. Some schools you just start as a as a nursing major. Some you mm. go into pre nursing and then you take certain tests mm. and you need to make certain GPAs mm. um, in order to go into a nursing major. Mm-hmm. Um, for APU, you get admitted as a nursing major and just stay that way. But there's some mm. classes that you need to pass, mm. of course, uh, like anatomy. Chemistry oh, okay, and yeah. things like that. So you need to pass those courses first, and then after you pass those two mm. classes, I believe, mm. then they then you become um, legible mm. to get into a nursing class. As actually junior year. No, no, no. It starts. It depends on your cohort. So if oh. you're a spring cohort, then your nursing class starts from the spring of your first year. But if you're first, if uh, if you're false fall cohort, then your nursing class starts Mm. in sophomore fall. Mm. Yeah. Is this semester system or quarter system? It's a semester. Semester. Okay, I see. Uh, So what you mentioned that um, you know you're taking a lot of you know the nursing programs right now. So you, I remember you graduate 2020, which is the. COVID-19 the yeah. time, and then we had a virtual uh, graduation ceremony. Yeah. And uh, even probably um, while taking the freshman year uh, at APU, uh, probably still COVID, you know, was a huge issue. Oh, yeah. So sure. what was the uh, most challenging, uh, let's say, experience in terms of your college life? Like because of the COVID or? COVID and you know, studying uh, nursing programs? I mean, for COVID, it's like the biggest thing was time difference because I there were some live classes that I, like, I had to be there, like, and there was, I can I cannot do anything else mm. other than just being there. And some mm. classes start at, like, 1 a.m. in the morning and it ends at, like, 3 a.m. Mm. Um, and it's kind of rough if you're just trying to stay awake, like, all all night basically um Mm. i think that was like the hardest part big hardest thing about being an international student Mm. during the COVID period um Mm. school in general um i don't think there was a lot of hard points um but like i think my hardest semester was my first semester because of anatomy i do not like biology don't ask me why i came to nursing school because like, I just don't like biology. It's not my thing. <laughs> um, you didn't take the biology? No, I did. Oh. I got a good grade. Oh, but still hard. Yeah, I don't like biology. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you're going to be a nurse, okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I can take it and, like, I will do it, oh. but I don't like it. Okay. Like, I see. So, yeah. Anatomy was, like, not fun. Mm. But if you like bio no big deal like mm. people some people just love it mm. and like kudos to you mm. not me okay so yeah i see so uh what about this question um you know you mentioned about your study and a lot of challenging part but th- on the other hand probably there are some fun parts i believe did you hopefully <laughs> yeah uh, hopefully maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe no boyfriend or maybe what you mentioned there are so many <laughs> what about the let's say Diversity part in I mean the student like in the in terms of student uh, population, what was the uh, how many let's say international students uh, in your let's say uh, program? Oh, in my program? Yeah. Oh. I know the APU is not many Asian students, right? Pre- no, the majority, there's like, there's quite a lot of Asians, especially oh, really? nursing, nursing school. Yes. Yeah. But Asian American. Yeah, Asian oh, American, boy. but ethnically oh. they're Asian. Oh. Um, um, yeah, but international school, international students in my cohort, including myself, there are three people. Mm. I believe, yes, there are three people. Mm. Um, How many total the people students do you guys have in my cohort? Oh. Um, now forty two. Forty two. Yeah. Oh, but but Asian students, how many? You need to define your Asian student right now. I feel like. 
What's that, like international or Asian American? Oh, like more than half. Oh, really? Yeah. That many? Yeah, there's a Majority lot. Majority also the、uh, female. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, I see.、Mm. I think like Asian and white are like almost similar.、Oh. And then there's some.、Uh, half, half. More、yeah, and、mostly. there's some Latino, Latini. Okay, I see.、Um, But typical,、uh, let's say, like, you know, academic rigorous programs, like mostly Asian students really good at math and you yeah, know, score, and also white students. But, like, AP、oh. in general has、um, a lot more l- Latini population yeah, than white true,、yeah. mm. or Asian population.、Mm. Um, So, yeah. But nursing is more academic and rigorous requirements. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess it depends on the cohorts too, though.、Oh. Because my cohort is kind of unique in different ways. Like, we have a lot more boys than、oh, average.、Really? Yeah.、Mm. Um, and I think we have a lot more Asians than average,、mm. too. But I think in other c o u r s e there's a lot more、um, Latinis.、Um, mm. Yeah. Have you ever imagined you're gonna take the、uh, nursing program like, when you were a high school student? Oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> nursing wasn't o k a y then, yes. then, then, you know, never ever imagine about your future, especially particularly major, which is a nursing. But now you're studying nursing, and probably you went to a lot of, let's say, medical、uh, hospital, you know, experience, I mean, the fields, right? Can you give us some, let's say, some memorable experiences, you know, while. Uh, visiting or taking some internship or cleaning、uh, the me- medical field? I try to leave everything behind on, on what happened in the clinical because if you try to recall everything and remember everything,、um, it can be good. It can be good in a lot of ways, but at the same time, it's. Can, it can be a lot because、mm. you are there with sick people like、mm. the entire day,、mm. and it can be a lot of emotional burden.、Oh. So I try to keep things there and not bring it home.、Mm. Um, I, my favorite rotation was restorative, it was basically. It's t e w a c h i r u in Korean.、Mm. It's like, so、Rabbit. people with like、yeah. stroke or、oh. brain hemorrhage, like, or like TBI, tra- traumatic brain、mm. injury,、mm. or spinal injuries, like,、oh. after like, like motor vehicle accidents or things like that,、oh. like, they come and they basically do rehabs.、Um, I think it was, it was most memorable because、mm. I could actually see people getting better、mm. oh. like week by week and okay, okay. compared to other units like、oh. you get to see your patients multiple times、mm. because in other units you usually see them、mm. once and they'll be discharged、mm. because most of them don't stay there for a long time、um, but、mm. we have You stay there for like a month.、Mm. Um, so you get to see your patients like、mm. over and over again, you, and you get to follow up on their progress.、Mm. So I think I really like that point.、Um, oncology、um, unit, it was、um, the cancer unit, and it was like a really big can- cancer hospital.、Oh. Um, and it was, it, was, it was memorable in a lot of ways. I, Like after the, that rotation, I, I, I certainly learned that I don't want to work in oncology unit、mm. because it's just too much for me. But at the same time,、um, I just got to see a lot of people holding on their hopes and like、mm. not giving up and like mm. everything, mm.、Um, which was which is powerful. It's just really powerful to witness、mm. all, those, all those things that they're going through and yet they're. They're grateful and they're still、mm. hopeful and they're still trying to live their life. And、mm. I'm like, wow, these people are like really amazing. Like,、mm. they, they have so much on their plate and yet they're, they're trying so hard. Like, yeah. Okay, thank you.、Uh, thank you. Thanks for your uh, sharing. Uh, well, I was told by your mom that、uh, you are now also working as a student worker,、um, RA.、Mm-hmm. So, give us,、uh, would you give us more information about this job, you know, the experience and the information? Because、uh, uh, some students ask me、uh, if I go to college, then、uh, 
uh, am I going to have some opportunities working、mm. you know, as a student workers? Because they probably need some financial aids,、mm. some you know, good experiences with the other、mm. students. Maybe our A is a good example, maybe. So, would you give us more detailed information? Yeah,、um, our A stands. Sense or resident advisor, I think.、Oh, yeah, advisor.、Okay. Adva- advisor. As resident advisor. Oh, assistant. <laughs> no, that's that's what I thought at first,、oh, but it's, I think it is resident advisor. advisor. Okay. Yeah. Um, and it's basically you offer helps to whoever's living on campus.、Mm. So you, if you're in a dorm, then you get in charge. You get to be in charge of like. One side of the hall, or like one side of the wing, or if you're in an apartment, you get in charge of、um, one court or one unit or、mm. things like that.、Mm. Um, so you basically keep in contact with them, make、mm. sure they're doing well. If if they need any support, you connect them to school resources.、Oh. Um, you organize events, so you organize your own events, in, like individual court mm. events mm. and Um, take two events. I mean, it depends on school, so don't take my word as a bible. <laughs> but that's at least how it is in APU.、Okay. Um, and if if they if they need like little helps and like itty bitty things, like I get locked out. Can you can you、oh. can you do a lockdown for me? Then、um, we go、oh. with keys and do a lockdown. So you got some financial support from the school.、Like? Oh yeah,、um, oh. yeah. What was the you know financial support? Oh, you your room and board get covered. Oh,、yeah. which is about almost ten thousand dollars a year. I think so. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot. 한천이천삼백만원 right? I'm not sure.、Yeah. I I mean I don't know the numbers exactly, but yeah, it dep and it also depends on the resident hall that you're living in. Hmm. Okay. But, I see.、Yeah. Thank you.、Uh, let me ask this question. You graduated Juniper Christian School, which is a high a Christian school, and now you're attending a Christian University.、Mm. What is the major significant difference between Christian High School and Christian University so far? Ah,、uh, I think. Okay, I I think it's it's because JCS is like small Christian school,、uh. more so. Because I don't want to generalize into like all Christian school because、yeah. different Christian、mm. school have different policies and everything.、Um, mm. But if you're an APU, not everyone there is necessarily Christian.、Mm. Mission school. Yeah.、Mm. Um. I mean, all the professors are Christian,、mm. but. Not all student populations are Christian, or they believe in Christianity.、Mm. Um, I mean, they need to attend chapels and things like that.、Mm. So that's that,、mm. and they know when they're coming in. But not everyone is necessarily Christian.、Mm. I think that's the biggest difference.、Um, and just because of the cultural. Difference、oh, between Korea、okay. and the states,、oh, like,、okay. um, I don't know how to describe it, but it's just like your faith can be as important as you want it to be,、mm. uh, and not important as you want it to be,、mm. like, and it's more of your choice at、mm. that point.、Uh, whereas, I mean, you you'll take Bible classes, liturgies, and things like that,、um, like、mm. you'll go to chapel,、mm. and. Um, faith is a really big part of being a, a student in APU, but at the same time, like nobody is like yelling、really、at your ears, saying, yeah, right, right. saying like you need to be Christian, you need to、mm, okay. go to church. Like nobody will gonna do that. Like, I see. Yeah. So like as a let's say minor,、mm-hmm. uh, under eighteen,、mm-hmm. pretty much、um, all the、uh, education direction. Uh, just you know,、uh, students just follow. But as a college student, as an adult,、mm. you have a lot of options and choices.、Mm. Uh, even though you are in the、uh, Christian environment,、mm. still a lot of you know choices.、Mm. You just have to make it right for your、mm. you know, personality. I mean, your personal growth.、Mm. That's major. Okay,、mm. I understand the、mm. significant difference.、Mm. Thank you.、Uh, you are going to be senior、mm. student this fall.、Mm. Uh, so fast. <laughs> oh yeah. So you're gonna graduate pretty soon. Maybe too early to early to ask this question, but、uh, what would be、uh, your plan after graduation? What do you think? 
I mean, if you're a nursing major, like you don't need to think much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's not much op- options ahead of you at this point. At this uh. point, especially be- at the beginning of your career, mm. um, you. Take your NCLEX. That's basically a license exam mm. to be a registered nurse. Oh, um, RN. Yeah. Yeah. And then right up to uh, the graduation, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then after passing NCLEX, you send your resumes to different mm. hospitals. Mm. Um, r- the trend has changed recently. I mm. feel like mm. so now a lot more hospitals are running residency programs. Oh. Um, that trains you for like at least like half a year to a year, I think. Oh. Um, I think UCLA is a year program, and like different hospital okay. has year programs. Oh. Um, What is called? Uh, residency. Okay, residency. Yeah. Okay. New grad residency. Okay, yeah. um, and then I'm gonna apply to those, hmm. uh, which would look like a little bit different for me because I am not a green card holder mm. nor a US mm. citizen mm. so my route will be a little bit different which mm. I need to figure out pretty soon mm. um, but you work at your hospital mm. and we usually recommend staying at like staying at one hospital for like at least for two years but that just really depends two on years oh. just that just really depends on like mm. your preference and who you're working with and your fit and mm. everything so don't take that as a bible it's just like and it really dep- depends on people by okay, people I see. Okay. Yeah. what about this question um uh, there are some students uh, our school students uh, who um maybe are very interested in the uh, medical field mm-hmm. and uh, bio bio major too mm-hmm. Um, or still figure out, you know, their interesting field. Mm. Uh, what would be your academic and spiritual advice as actually a senior mm. um, to our you know, high school, even our current students? Mm, I would say you really need to know what makes you excited there's mm. a difference between what you're talented at mm. and what makes you excited mm. um, and it's up to you to choose which one as your career mm. but make a choice that I mean you're gonna regret it mm. at some point mm. because any 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 subject of study is hard and mm. it's it won't be as exactly the same as you imagine it to mm. be mm. most likely if it is good for you mm. but um try to s- choose something that makes your heart beat mm. and makes you feel excited and mm. what do what you feel passionate for mm. um because they'll keep you for a while mm. and and if you don't know what you feel passionate for like that's still fine mm. like you're still young like mm. come on you guys are still in middle school or high school mm. don't be too Um, you don't need to push yourself too hard at this mm. point um, mm. I would just say like be diligent in your current studies um, schoolwork um, mm. extracurriculars and things like that and as Laura where he wants to take you to because I did not choose APU got mm. it mm. and I'm there only because he sent me mm. um, so yeah who knows what mm. Do you still have a dream or a goal uh, to, if you, if possible, God, open the door, go to uh, North Korea? Like, you uh, know, for the nursing medical mission? Uh, great ministry? question. I have no idea because right now it's really hard, but... I uh, mean, if, you know, if, God opened the door, is it? Yeah, uh, but right now I'm more thinking of... Um, oh, gosh, uh, my brain, brain is blinking. Um, Doctors Without Borders. What so it is Doctors Without Borders. Oh, what is it? Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So you go, you join them. Um, oh, you join them right now? No, no, you, oh, you, you, you join, join them okay. later. Um, ah. But you need um, some like, infield experiences. Mm. And I think that'll be like a really first step of beginning. I see. Of using my talent, my job as... Mm. Mm. It is like the first step of using my career and what I learned in school mm. to people around the world, I feel like. And I think that's what I want to do in the long term um, okay. instead of just staying in uh, 
private hospital. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, so you met um, our uh, teachers. I know probably you will be happy to meet them. Mm. So maybe if I give you a chance to speak or to them uh, through this time, well, would you uh, make some statements? I mean, you guys hurt me a lot. And hurt? <laughs> no, 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 hurt, hurt, H E A R D. Okay, yes. okay, okay. You guys hurt me a lot. Okay. Um, and I, at this point, I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm going to say to you. But uh-huh. um, I'm very grateful for what you guys have done for me. Um, mm. And yeah, it's been really great to come back and get to see you guys again. And I think what I've learned here are. Lasting for mm. quite a while right mm. now. Mm. Um, that's been a really good soil and a great foundation for me. Thank you. Um, yeah. So yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for your time, and then um, hopefully you're gonna have a good, great, uh, meaningful time with your family until you go back uh, to the states uh, pretty soon. Mm. And uh, okay, let's keep in touch. We actually our school uh, big group go to um, plan to go to uh, New York. And uh, Boston oh, yeah, this heard. fall, yeah. and during the Chuseok season, yeah. and uh, hopefully, probably two years later, I'll go to West Coast again, mm. and uh, a little bit different colleges, um, mm. four college vision trip. Uh, we plan. You know, we're APU. gonna make. It. Uh, absolutely, APU is one of the first things <laughs> too. Yeah. So maybe you could uh, invite us next time. Anyway, thank you so much for your time. And be you know careful. Okay. Yeah. Let me pray for you, and then let's finish up. Jesus, we thank you for this uh, great time being with. Hannah, and she uh, graduated our school, and now studying the uh, the one of a great uh, Christian university in the in America, as the Pacific University, as actually nursing major person. Um, thank you so much for your vision. Uh, she could, uh, you know, work on uh, developing and raise making, uh, um, you know, your uh, you know purpose and uh, to become the your leader. And continually bless upon her leadership and health and all the education she uh, wanna achieve. And uh, she has a lot of plans, so be with her and give her, provide what she asks you all the time, Lord. And thank you for her passion, uh, working for your ministry, a medical field, and hopefully uh, she could, you know, be uh, influential. Uh, among many, many uh, the people who need uh, you and who need your gospel, Lord. And use her as your instrument, Lord. Thank you so much for our teachers who support uh, Hannah's um, education and uh, what she mentioned that a great academic, you know, soil and foundation, you know, her, um, you know, career right now. Uh, thank you so much for this time. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, guys, see you uh, next week. Bye-bye.